Assalamualaikum and greetings to everyone. I am Madam Siti Hajar Binti Nurjuddin and in this video, I will explain the second part of eukaryotic cells which explain their structures and organelles. Let's take a look on the lecture content first. I'm sure that you have already understand the content from 5.1 until 5.4 and in this video, I will continue the lecture and covering the remaining topics in 5.4.1. Without further ado, let's begin. Again, I would like to list out all the structures and organelles that present in the eukaryotes. But for this time, I will only explain about the three organelles, which are the lysosomes, vacuoles, and also the peroxisomes. Okay, first and foremost, you should know about the vesicular transport. The structure that transits materials inside the membranous containers for secretion and transported around the cell are called as vesicles. It transports materials from ER to Golgi apparatus and from Golgi apparatus towards the plasma membrane. Alright, let's begin with the first organelle which is the lysosome. It is known as the digestive compartments. Lysosomes are vesicles that are produced by the Golgi apparatus. It is a circular shape but slightly bigger than the ribosomes. It is a single member bound structure that contains of hydrolytic enzyme, which is the digestive enzyme, such as proteases, nucleases, lipases, phospholipases, and etc. That is why lysosomes sometimes also known as a garbage collector or the cleanup crews. As I mentioned just now, lysosomes contain digestive enzymes. Therefore, the main function is to break down the cellular waste, debris, and nutrients for use by the cells. So let's brief out the function of lysosome specifically. Lysosome helps in digesting extracellular particles. It also digests food contents like proteins, fats, and glycogen inside the cytoplasm. Somehow, it may look like lysosomes supply the necessary amount of energy to the cell. It also involves in autophagy by removing the damaged organelles also play a role in autolysis where it will digest entire damage or the dead cells. And lastly, lysosome also helps apoptosis where the enzyme used to break down the other cells like transformation of tick pole becoming a frog. So the second organelle is the vacuoles. Vacuoles also known as the maintenance. Vacuoles are large membrane closed sac for cellular storage. It is very large in size. The function of vacuoles are storing the water and food, support the shapes of the cell, and also transport materials in and out of the animal cells. There are three different types of vacuoles. The first one is food vacuoles. It is formed by a phagocytosis. Food vacuoles will fuse with the lysosomes to be digested by the enzymes. Other functions of food vacuole is for storage, breakdown of waste product and also hydrolysis of macromolecules. Next one is the central vacuole. It only exists and prominent organelle in the matured plant cells. The solution inside the central vacuole is called cell sap. It play important roles in the growth of plant cells where it absorb water and control the turgidity of the plant cells. And last one, the contractile vacuoles, which can be found in many unicellular eukaryotes living in freshwater like paramecium's. It will help the osmoregulation process where it will pump the excess water out of the cells. This will present the cells from lysis, which means swelling and bursting. So this diagram shows the food vacuoles, the central vacuole that only exists in the plant cells, and the contractor vacuoles. Next organelle is peroxisomes. It controls the oxidation of the cells. Peroxisomes are vesicles that contain enzyme catalysts. This enzyme catalyst will degrade the hydrogen peroxide by splitting the toxic hydrogen peroxide and rendering it become harmless. Peroxisomes are abundant in human liver and also the kidney cells where it will break down the fats and toxics. It will help the detoxification of ethanol, where the alcohol from the alcoholic beverages. Next, let's discover the endomembrane systems as a whole. 
The endomembrane system is composed of membranous organelles that work together, transporting flow of proteins and lipids through various organelles which involve starting from the nuclear envelope of the nucleus, then to the rough and smooth endoplasmic reticulum, move forward to the Golgi apparatus and releasing the vesicle to the final destination which is the plasma membrane. Let's take a look how does this endomembrane system works. As you can see here, the rough endoplasmic reticulum will produce the proteins and the smooth endoplasmic reticulum will synthesize the lipids. Protein that have been produced in the rough ER and also the lipids that produce in the smooth ER are carried in the transport vesicles here. And this transport vesicle will fuse or go into the Golgi apparatus. Then in Golgi, it will modify this product by sorting and packaging them into a secretory vesicle. And this secretory vesicle will go to the various cell destination. This secretory vesicle carry the products to the plasma membrane here, where the astrocytosis or secretion will occur. Or the lysosomes, which also been produced by the Golgi, will fuse with the incoming vesicles and digest the macromolecules and also the debris. This is the simplified uh, and animated diagram to show the flow how the organelles in endomembrane system works together. So from the nuclear envelope towards the endoplasmic reticulum, producing the transport vesicle, move forward to Golgi apparatus, modify and package into a secretory vesicle and will be secreted out to the extracellular. Here I will also share with you a video of endomembrane system. Please have a look. The endomembrane system is a collection of membrane-based organelles that work together to create, modify, and export cell products such as proteins and lipids. It consists of the nuclear envelope, the rough and smooth endoplasmic reticulum, the Golgi apparatus, and several types of vesicles. Let's start our tour with the endoplasmic reticulum. There are two types of endoplasmic reticulum, rough and smooth. The rough endoplasmic reticulum, or rough ER, is studded with ribosomes. These ribosomes are what give the rough ER its rough appearance. Ribosomes are responsible for producing proteins, which are packaged in the transport vesicles and carried to the Golgi apparatus. The smooth endoplasmic reticulum, or smooth ER, lacks ribosomes on its surface. This is why it's called smooth. The smooth ER is mainly responsible for the detoxification of harmful chemicals. It's also responsible for the production of lipids, which are also packaged in the transport vesicles and sent to the Golgi apparatus. The Golgi apparatus is made of a series of flattened sacs that look a little like pancakes. Its job is to package and distribute cell products that are either destined for a specific location within the cell, such as the plasma membrane, or for secretion from the cell. You can think of the Golgi apparatus as the post office of the cell, where packages are dropped off and destinations are assigned. For example, some of the proteins from the rough ER are modified by the Golgi apparatus to become digestive enzymes, which are packaged into a special type of vesicle called a lysosome. The job of this particular lysosome is infused with another vesicle coming in from the plasma membrane. The lysosome's digestive enzymes then break down the contents of the vesicle, releasing nutrients for the cell. Other cell materials leaving the Golgi apparatus may be destined for secretion from the cell. For example, some might be hormones that help with body regulation, while others might be proteins that become part of the materials surrounding the cell. Before these products can be exported from the cell, they must first be packaged into a secretory vesicle. This vesicle then merges with the plasma membrane, releasing its contents into the external environment. The endomembrane system can be modified slightly to meet the specific needs of each cell. For example, a muscle cell usually has more rough ER because of its need for protein, while a liver cell usually contains more smooth ER because of its role in detoxification. Regardless of these modifications, the movement of materials within the endomembrane system 
is basically the same for all eukaryotic cells. So therefore, that's the end of our topic. These are the references for you to refer. And thank you from me. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.